Next, 13.4 came up with this interesting update called NextJS Server Actions. If you've been in the ecosystem of SSR for the last two years, you would have probably heard this word called Actions in another framework called Remix. I thought to myself, why can't I play around with the code base of Remix Actions and also NextJS Actions and compare both of them to see if they are really different or they are actually the same? Before we compare, let's take a step back and go back in time and look what these actions actually mean. If you'd been a HTML developer for the last 20 years, you probably would have heard something called as the form tag. Form tag existed even before JavaScript was invented. That means you can talk to the server with a simple HTML form tag by submitting all the information to the server, even without the help of JavaScript. Let's see how they work. Here you can see that we have a form tag that's a simple HTML. I will show you what happens when you submit. When you submit the form tag, if you take a look at the network request, it's reloading the page on its own. So it is making another document request to reload the page. Now I'm going to update the action. And what happens is that it will submit to the action page PHP. That would typically do a redirect or it will return a HTML from this endpoint. Now that you're armed with the knowledge of the forms, let's take a look at the remix actions and how they perform. A remix is route centric. Every route has got a loader's action and components. And the components can make use of the action data and also the data from the loaders. If you want to use a reusable action, then you can have a resource route and that can be reused across multiple components. Let's take a look at remix actions and play around with the code. So this is a simple remix form. If I add some information and click add, the form is being submitted to the same page and there is a revalidation happening on the same route. On submission, Remix knows that there is a change in this route and it knows how to revalidate it. Now I'm going to disable the JavaScript and then try again to see how it works. It still works as expected because it's making a document request. So it's not doing a data request but rather it's doing a document request on the same route. One thing I have to tell you is that this is a really simple implementation of the form from Remix form, but there is also other APIs that are available for you, which you can use to build optimistic UI and also form pending status, et cetera, et cetera. I should give props to the Remix team because they made the form tags great again. The Next.js server actions, in my opinion, are component centric, meaning you can define the server actions inside a server component or outside a server component using the use server label. And you can pass on the actions to client components as well. And on top of this, they also offer you APIs to build your own optimistic UI and depending form statuses. Let's take a look at how Next.js server actions behave in a small demo. I have a simple Next.js server actions and I'm trying to add some information onto the form. Let's go ahead and add it. Right, so you can see that the payload is being sent, but I'm not getting an update. And like Remix, server actions do not really care about your route. All they care about is your components where you use your server actions. So that means we'll have to explicitly tell server actions to revalidate the path. I'm going to add a revalidate path to the code base and then try again. Now, if I do a form submit, then you can see the revalidation should work as expected. I'm going to disable the JavaScript and then try again to see how this behaves. You can see that the form post is making a document request. It's behaving like a normal form. It's time for us to do a final comparison of the attributes between the Remix actions and Next.js actions. The first thing we already talked about, we talked about the APIs that are available. In Remix actions, we have form that's really close to the actual form tag um, in the HTML. Uh, for the optimistic UI updates and for concurrent mutations, and for the pending UIs, it's really easy if you implement it with the fetcher.form. On the Next.js server actions, the APIs are a bit smaller. Um, for form, you have one form tag and then you have action and you have use optimistic UI for optimistic UI updates and then you have 
use form status to know the pending form status. And in terms of disable JS, they both actually work as expected. They both trigger document request. For the design, I would say remix actions are route centric and server actions are uh, component centric. So that means they are tied to a component. And uh, in terms of reusability, we can reuse that through resource routes. Here we can just have a standalone action with use server label. And then comes uh, the revalidation. So I really like uh, the revalidation that's happening automatic in Remix. And in Next.js, you can still do it, but then you'll have to manually tell it to revalidate the path. And in React Server Component Support, so far, Remix don't really have any support, but I assume they will add the Server Component Support. And Next.js 13.4, is all in with the server components and composability it is still tied to a route so not as composable as a component and this one i would say composable because you can treat them as full stack components i think that next.js server actions are really cool they are really closely tied with the react ecosystem and the apis from the react ecosystem remix on the other hand has implemented what the web platform does and then it's closely associated with how the web works in my opinion they both have their strengths and they both have their weaknesses as we always say software engineering is all about having trade-offs which ones can you live with and which ones you can't live with thanks for watching this video if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe for more and I will talk to you soon.